smothered pork chops. It's like music coming off the tongue. It's like poetry. Smothered pork chops. It's like a thing of beauty. Look at those. I had some thin sliced uh, pork chops bone in. And uh, I breaded them, fried them. Mm. Alright, for the gravy we're going to start off with some onions. Going to chop them up. Uh, I want them thin, so I got my mandolin going. Look at that mandolin! Um, that's the same mandolin where I cut the tip of my finger off, so uh, we're going to use that guard the whole time. Uh, and then I'm uh, going to season up my uh, my flour with war pig. Uh, I show the bottle here in a minute, I believe. There it is. Yeah, some war pig. That's good. That's good with pork. That really is. Um, and then uh, I mix that up, and then we're going to put our chops in there. And that, that's it. I'm not doing a full breading. I'm just doing a light breading on them. Okay, let's fry these babies up. We uh, got one. I th we fit three in here. So there's my second one. About to my hands speed up. I'll get a third one in there at some point. There, come on. There we go. All right, we're gonna we're gonna get the nice uh, crust on one side. And uh, we're not cooking them all the way through. And uh, there we go, flipping. Uh, we we'll just we just want to get some uh, some of that crust going and uh, get them nice and browned. And then there we go. We're gonna go in with our onions. I'm gonna get these all nice and sautéed up. And uh, so yeah, I'm doing a brown onion gravy. Um, so yeah, that's if, if it's just. You gotta have the onions with the pork chops. Just got to. And I'm gonna just uh, go ahead and cook this, mix this up, cook it out, get the flour taste out of them. And then we're gonna go in with our, uh, that's milk. I was out of cream. I thought I had cream and it turned out it was expired. So yeah, that's life. And just get that nice little roux going, get that when it thickens up. And once we get to a certain point, then we get to start adding uh, right there. We're going to add our beef stock. And that's going to be the base of our, well, it's going to be, that's going to be our gravy. Just stir it, get it all nice and, you know, thickish. You don't want it, you know, um, you want to cross between a soup and a, and a full on gravy. And then start putting your chops in. And I had, what, a total of eight? So we, we stuffed all eight in there. And we're going to let this uh, slow cook. Oh, wait. Uh-oh. Look at it. There he is. There he is. He's the, he's the giant slayer. Go get him. Go get him, Chewie. Don't take no don't take no guff off him, Chewie. You got this. Come on, Chewie. You got this. Anyway, so this plate, we got uh, put some rice, a little gravy, we're going to put our chop down on top. Obviously, I'm doing it. There we go. I, nah, I thought I showed that. I guess I didn't. A uh, little side. We're doing a lot of starch. <laughs> a lot of starch today. A uh, little uh, mashed potatoes with the gravy on it. And then I got some King Hawaiian rolls to go with it. And, I mean, look at that. Who doesn't want to eat that? Who doesn't want to eat that? If you don't want to eat that, you're one of those vegan weirdos. So, hey, hi, vegan fans. I, I know I don't have any vegan fans. I don't cook anything vegan. Anyway, that's uh, that's what we got. And there we got, uh, oh, my, my, my pictures. There's my pictures. So anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, keep cooking.